Apparently, Vince McMahon and Bruce Prichard loved the Steiner Brothers so much, especially Scott, that they wanted him to show up as a surprise entrant in a 1993 Royal Rumble match and win, immediately challenging for the world title at one, that one event that shall not be named. But two things stood in the way. One, Vince wasn't in on it, and two, Scott and Sisters had remained tag partners with his brother Rick. What if Vince was in on that idea? Here's how I'd go about it. Scott Steiner appears as a surprise entrant in 1993 Royal Rumble and wins it. His brother Rick celebrating the moment with him. Now Scott's going to go challenge for the world title just like that. To make things simple, let's make the champion Bret Hart. Scott mentioned how he wants to team up with Rick, so in the main event of that pay-per-view, Scott's wish is granted. The Steiners will take on the tag champions, the Hart Brothers, for not only the WWE Championship, but also the tag team belts winner take all. In the build, the Steiners play monster heel, squashing jobbers and other tag teams left and right on Raw. Meanwhile, Brandon Owen Hart take on the likes of Money Incorporated and the Beverly Brothers in various open challenges or something. Which means that all are the Beverly is challenging for the tag titles, but also for the world title. As you can see, Scott Steiner is a big threat in the tag division in a world championship scene because he entered the WWF unknown, but he won the Rumble on his own and teaming with an equally monstrous tag partner in Rick. And here both Steiners are, taking a world by storm and ready to take on the hearts in a colossal and perhaps revolutionary tag main event come you know what. At you know what, we see one of the single greatest championship tag matches in wrestling history as both tag belts and world title are on the line. This main event stays true to the message of WWF at the time. Raw! Blood and shit and guts are spilled until the Steiners win the day, carrying almost all the gold in the WWF. Speaking of gold, where could Hulk Hogan be around this time? Well, he's having a match with Macho Man Randy Savage, who, by the way, isn't on commentary because apparently Savage hated being a commentator. As for Hogan, Savage beat him in a steel cage match at co-made event on a Raw after that show. It's reported that the WWF title went missing in a rest's history.